talk about how I've cut out the Bum Bag XL for kind of like a day of fly fishing like this. On each side, I've got this little net. Uh, this guy packs down really small, but he's perfect for brookies. Just kind of minimizes handling time. And then on the other side, I've got a couple of different uh, spools of uh, tippet from Scientific Angler on this little holder that fits the two inch belt really well. Uh, one thing I like about the XL, I don't always have a videographer here with me, so my phone goes in the back. It's easy to retrieve it. It's not in the main compartment with all my other stuff. And then up front, I use the molly webbing uh, for these Dr. Slicks kind of all-in-one uh, eye punch, scissors, and uh, forceps for getting the hooks out if officially takes a fly. Then on the inside, I keep it really simple. So fish pond tacky box with pretty much everything I would need out here. Previously talked about floating, and I've actually got one of our medium Velcro pouches in here. And that's where I kind of keep like extra liters, a space blanket and a lighter in case I like take a swim. A couple other things, one of which is my thermometer. So you don't want to like fish when it's above like, really for me, 62, 63 for water temp. It stresses the trout out a lot. So if I've got any question about that, I'll drop this in the stream for a few minutes and uh, get a reading. Today, it is more like 52 or 53. Last but not least, I have been prone to uh, fish until it's too dark to kind of find my way back to the road. So always keep a Phoenix headlamp in here.